boys and girls! Welcome back to the Parsha Studio. Pesach, also called Chag HaAviv, the holiday of the spring, is coming up very soon. We're going to make a beautiful springtime painting to get into that spirit. Here are the supplies that we'll need. A cup of water, several colors of paint, blue, light green, dark green, white, dark purple, and a lighter or brighter shade of purple. Q-tips, a rubber band, two paintbrushes, a regular sized one and a thin one, a pencil, a paint palette, and a canvas. Let's begin. On the canvas, draw an outline of two lilacs, rather like two long stretched out ovals. Draw a stem for each lilac and then draw several leaves around them. To make it more realistic, try to vary the sizes of the leaves, some larger, some smaller. Next, put some blue paint on the palette. Add some white paint to it and mix it until it becomes a very pale shade of blue. Using the larger paintbrush, paint the entire canvas. This will be the background. By the way, in case you are curious about lilacs, they are beautiful purple flowers with a very fragrant smell. So what's the connection between lilacs and Pesach? The lilacs represent springtime. And as it turns out, one of the four names of Pesach is Chag Aviv, the holiday of the spring because that is the time of year when the Jewish people left Mitzrayim, and according to the Torah, Pesach must be celebrated each year in the spring. Next, mix some light green paint with water on the palette, and use the thin paintbrush to outline and fill in the stems and leaves. What is special about springtime? Imagine you daydream through all the seasons. The summertime spells sun shining over beautiful green grass and trees. As the fall sets in, the trees change colors and the leaves fall to the ground. Winter comes and everything becomes blanketed in a layer of snow. It seems like the world is napping. And then comes spring. The trees start blossoming, flowers begin to bloom, the sun starts to shine again, and the whole world comes alive. We celebrate Pesach in the spring because that is the time of year Hashem took the Yidin out of Mitzrayim. But there is also a lesson for us about springtime that we can apply to learning the Torah. Just like in the spring, the whole world wakes up and everything blooms again. When we learn Torah, it brings life and excitement to the mitzvahs we do, making them much more meaningful and alive. Let's paint the lilacs now using a cool technique. Take five to six Q-tips and tie them together with a rubber band. Dip them into the lighter shade of purple paint and dab them into the space where you drew the outlines of the lilacs. Of course the reason we do mitzvahs is simply because Hashem asked us to, but knowing the reason for a mitzvah can help us to feel more excited about getting to do something so special. Once the lilacs are filled with bright purple dots, take one Q-tip, dip it into the darker purple, and dab it onto the left side of each lilac to create the effect of a shadow. Can you think of a mitzvah that you know a reason for? For example, do you know a reason why we eat matzah on Pesach? If you don't know an answer, you can ask someone who you think might know. Next, dip another Q-tip into white paint and dab it on the right side of each lilac to create the effect of a light shining on it. Next time you are outside looking at an object, such as a flower, you may notice that one side looks darker and the other side lighter because of the way the sun is shining on it. Alrighty, next use the thin paintbrush to go back over the leaves with dark green paint to create more depth and shadow. Again, next time you're outdoors, notice the way a real leaf looks. Lastly, use white paint to add highlights. This will make the leaves look a little more realistic. Let it dry and voila, your painting is ready. Make sure to find a good spot to hang it. Wishing you a kasher on Freilich and Pesach. See you next week.